All right, today we're gonna to take a look at the situation of a four centimeter tall object, 10 centimeters in front of a convex mirror, which has a focal length of 10 centimeters. And in this problem, we're gonna draw a ray tracing diagram for this object to determine where the image will appear within the mirror. And we're also gonna go through and use the mirror equation to calculate the image position, as well as the magnification equation to determine the overall magnification from using this mirror, as well as the height of the image. Now, starting with our ray tracing diagram, we're gonna draw our three incident rays from this object toward the mirror, just like we would with a concave mirror, except now we're dealing with a convex mirror. So our first ray is the principal ray. So our principal ray is gonna strike the mirror right here. And when it hits the mirror, it's gonna bounce off the mirror. Now, typically we would say the principal ray is going to bounce off the mirror and travel through the focal point, but our focal point is over here and it's impossible for the light to actually reach over here behind the mirror. It's gonna bounce off somehow to the left in this direction. So I want you to realize the ray is going to bounce off the mirror as though it passed through the focal point, like this. Our next ray is going to travel from the top of this object toward the center of curvature. And you'll remember, when a light ray strikes a mirror traveling toward the center of curvature, it's going to turn around and bounce right back on the same path along which it came. And our last ray is the focal ray. That is the ray that starts at the top of our object and heads towards the focal point. Now, much like the principal ray in reverse, when a ray which is traveling toward the focal point strikes the mirror, it is going to bounce off the mirror traveling parallel to the principal axis. And as that focal ray bounces off the mirror, it appears to be coming from some line along here. Now you'll notice there's a point back here where our three reflected rays from the principal ray, the center ray, and our focal ray all appear to be originating. And this point of convergence right here where those rays cross is where our image will form. So what we see from a ray tracing diagram is that an image will form behind the mirror. That image is going to be upright and smaller. So let's go through and confirm this result using the mirror and magnification equations. Starting with the mirror equation. Looking first at the focal length, we see here there's a focal length of 10 centimeters. Now since we're dealing with a convex mirror, we have to be extremely careful with this focal length of 10 centimeters. See, on a convex mirror, the focal point is behind the mirror, on the opposite side of the mirror from the object. And so if we look at a mirror as having a positive and negative side, then the focal point is on the negative side of the mirror, which means this value right here needs to be negative 10. Now looking at an object distance of 10 centimeters, we can solve for di. And we find the image distance is five centimeters, which is exactly what we saw over here with our ray tracing diagram. Next, let's go through and work out the magnification. Knowing our image distance is negative five centimeters, plugging that in, over our object distance of 10, we find the magnification in this problem is 0.5. That is to say the image is half as large as the object. So knowing the magnification, let's go through and solve for the height of this image. And we find the height of the image is two centimeters, or half as tall as our original four centimeter object. So in this problem, we've drawn a ray tracing diagram for an object placed in front of a convex mirror. We've gone through and used the mirror equation to solve for the image distance, the magnification, and the height of the image. And on that note, that's all for now.